We are here with Janelle Brulin. She is the author of a book called The Success Lie. A lot of us, I know, I get it. We've got a, a long list of books we got to read, you know, the good ones. Mm -hmm. I think this could be one of those ones that help push you a little bit, especially for all you entrepreneurs out there. So first off, thanks for being here. Glad to Driving be here. Driving down to Seattle from Birch Bay. Mm -hmm. Love Birch Bay, by the way. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and so can we just start by asking, like, what is this lie? Yeah. Like, what's the lie? Absolutely. Well, in my own pursuit of success, I discovered that there is a pervasive lie in the world today, and so many people have bought into it and they don't even know it, and it is the success lie. And I bought into it myself, and entrepreneurs and business professionals everywhere just think you need to do more and more. You've got to be on all the time. You have to work harder, longer, and sacrifice everything, even your health or your relationships. To get and to I was where, there. though, right? <laughs> yes. Well, to get to this success, in your own pursuit of success, and you end up having this gap in where you are versus where you want to be. And I got myself off of that treadmill. I took back control of my life, and that's how I ended up putting this book together. Yeah. Wow. I want to show others how now. Yeah, you know, especially for, I think, folks living around here, we have the super high cost of living. So it would seem, I think for a lot of people, it's like, hey, I need more because I need to pay mm -hmm. the rent or I need to try to get a house. I mean, and so what do you say to that? Yes. Well, I think it's really important that we find our own version of success and not somebody else's. And I think so many of us, we will try to live up to other people's versions of success. Uh, we look at that social rule on uh, mm -hmm. social media, on Facebook, and we think that everybody has this perfect life and we want that, but we're not really seeing behind the scenes. Oh, they're on this great vacation. So, <laughs> yes. yeah, I know, right? So are you, to, to, to kind of sum up, I'm trying to, trying to figure this out here. We all want to get to somewhere where we feel like, okay, we've made it. This is the success that we're talking about. But that could be everlasting. You could always be chasing something, right? Yes. We're always looking for the success. Is it ever going to be here? Do we have to become okay with like, hey, maybe I'm successful right now and appreciate the now? Is that what you Absolutely. Well, the book is really about defining for yourself what your own version of success is and not somebody else's. And it's that life, your own best life, and you've got to determine what that is and not follow what anybody else's version is. And this book gives you a proven process of how to design that best life, the best life that you deserve, the one that you've always wanted. Okay. And that's what I'm doing in this book. Got it. I'm, I am dying to know how, what made you want to write this. What were you observing? Was there some kind of revelation? What made you say, okay, I need to write this book mm -hmm. or tell this story? Definitely. Well, it's really about choice. And the choice is the truth is yours and yours alone to live your best life. And I had gotten myself off track. I was living on automatic. We get caught up in this unconscious living. You think of being on a kayak and you don't pay attention. You start drifting out to sea. Our lives can be like that, yeah. and you just stop paying attention to where you're going, and it can take sometimes a few years, sometimes many years, but you end up drifting, and you end up where you don't want to be. And this mm -hmm. book is really about first becoming aware of what's not working, and then determining what kind of life that you want to have, and then a proven path and steps to figure that out and get there. Before you go, can you give us just one of your truths? Because I know we can't give them all of them. <laughs> on the, can you give us one of your truths for yes. success? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. The truth is that choice that you have to make the choice to have your own version of success and not live by what everybody else says that your life should one. be. Yeah. So that's a big one in this book. You're going to be signing tonight where? I Which am. Signings? I am going to be at Third Place Books in Seattle at 7 o'clock okay. tonight. So come on out. I'm really excited to be able to see people to talk about the book and some great action tools and resources that are in that book to help people get their best life. So that's coming up, and uh, find out more at thesuccesslie.com, and go buy the book, and take back your <laughs> take life. Take it in. Right. <laughs> I love it. We're successful now. I love it. Thank you for being here. You okay. bet. My okay. pleasure. We're Thank gonna, you so much. Yeah, of course. We're going to send it over to Michelle now. Michelle, you got an update? Yeah, I do, and I want to show you some of the comments that are coming in from the Five Hive, because Angela posted this question, how do you work smarter, not harder? Share your ideas here. And Amelie said, setting a goal, reaching the goal, and being happy with the results. Sometimes success isn't what we pictured when we set out to achieve it. Isn't that what we were just talking about? Sometimes it's feeling proud knowing you gave it everything you had to get where you are now. <gasps> Love that. That's a good one, don't you think, Angela? Yeah. Also, Teresa said you are happy with where you are and what you have or are on a path to get there. So keep all of those comments coming. These are wonderful.